Hello and welcome. In this video I want to present to you my multimodal local chat app where you can chat with different models of your choice using the Ulama local server or working with the OpenAI endpoint. You can chat with voice messages, with images, you can also chat with PDF files and everything with local models for free. Now on a previous video I coded this repository and now I updated it and in this video I want to show you how you can get this chat app running on your Linux or Windows system. So if you're interested in chatting via voice messages with your images using PDF files with any model you like to use then keep watching. You can find the link of the repository in the description or in the comment section. And now let's get started. First I want to quickly jump into setting up this repository on Linux. Later on we're going to cover it on Windows. Just copy the link of the repository and basically follow these steps with Docker Compose. If you don't have Docker installed then go and install it. You really need to work with Docker. And I will show you right now why you need to work with Docker. It basically sets up everything for you. So we are going to git clone the repository. Then we want to cd into it and now I want to open it in VS Code. Now the first thing we have to do, we're going to change the model save path in the docker compose.yaml file. I chose folder named Olama. So if you don't have a GPU, you can remove the deploy section here. Now we can simply run docker compose up. Well, basically what Docker does, uh, you can think of it as little virtual environments. So it spins up a Linux environment where the specific code is running. In this case, Olama, which will be our model server and our app with which we are going to interact. And you can see simply like that, it installed the necessary requirements, it run every command, the whole repository is set up. So one notice, if you have a GPU, you will see here your GPU mentioned. So we can now just open localhost and there our application is running. What you need to do next? You need to pull a couple of models. But first, let's talk about the changes I've made to this uh, repository. In the previous version, I worked with C-Transformers because C-Transformers are Python bindings for transformer models which are implemented in C++. So in theory, they should be pretty fast. Now the repository doesn't receive updates and therefore it's, it's a little bit outdated and I wanted to use a more modern solution. Therefore I switched to Llama. What is Llama? It's basically a local server where you can download multiple models of your choice or you can uh, add models you download somewhere else at uh, Hugging Face for example and run them on the local server. Then you can interact through the API with the LLMs. Now you need to go over to olama.com slash library. Here in the library you can choose a model you need. There are at least uh, two or three models you need. An embedding model. So I chose the Noemic embed text. You can simply copy the name here. Uh, you can also choose different versions and for the embedding model you need to define it here in the config file because usually you don't switch up embeddings models that much therefore define it once here then go over to the app and in the app you want to write the command slash pull then enter the model name now if i press enter in the background it's going to pull the model from the llama library to your local server we can see the success status it finished and um, to work with images you need to also download a model which understands images for example lava now if you have a GPU, you will need at least 4.7 GB of VRAM. If not, then uh, you will need that much RAM memory. Again, write pull, uh, copy the model. Also, I have this model already, therefore it's already done. And here, any other model you wish to work with, simply download it. Look at the necessary VRAM or RAM. And if you have that, then you can download it. Let's um, st start a new text session. I want to use the Llama 3.1 Model. Now let's just write something, test it. You can see here it's getting loaded on my uh, GPU. Now this takes a couple of seconds and there we see the answer. The loading here actually was 9 seconds. Now if I test it again, if I write test now, as you can see such a small text is computed uh, in 
not even a second. Now keep in mind you're on a GPU here. This will obviously take a little bit longer if you're on a CPU. In the repository I provided one PDF file. It's just a paper. Uh, if you click into it, it has three megabytes and how many pages are there? 20 pages. So let's see how long it takes to ingest this PDF. I'm going to drop the PDF file here. In the background it's going to load the embedding model which we have chosen and we see the documents added to the database. It took 10 seconds to embed the documents in the database. So let's ask a question. What is the Hoover data set about? It's loading the LM again. And there you see now here in the config file you can also modify other things. I have the chat memory length of 2 which means uh, with this question I posed the last two messages were also sent to the AI to work with. Uh, so one message from the AI and one message from myself. We retrieve three documents from the embedding database. You might want to increase this to more documents. You might want to increase the chunk size. So here are only uh, 256 tokens, which is a little bit small, but I use this uh, smaller number because many of you don't have a GPU, don't, and therefore a larger number would take much more time. But you can also increase it if you have the necessary computational power. Now, if you want to chat with your image, you need to change the model to the lava model now. And then we can add the image. Describe the image, please. And there you can see the lava model gets loaded now. And there you can see the description of the image. It has worked. Now another big change in the repository. I have implemented OpenAI. So if you want, you can also use OpenAI. Of course, you need uh, to provide your OpenAI key uh, in the .env file. Now I just added my OpenAI API key. Now we can switch over to the OpenAI endpoint. And as you can see, the respective models can be chosen. Now keep in mind, we can't work with text-to-speech here or DALI 3 or Whisper or a text embedding model. So uh, I might change this list up in the future. Now it just pulls all the available models, but obviously we can only work with the mo uh, chat models here. So let me get the GPT-40 mini here and just uh, to test it out. There we can see I'm the Erlang model created by OpenAI. There we have our answer and it worked perfectly fine. To work with images here, you also again have to select a model which can accept images. So in this case, I think 4.0 mini can and 4.0 in general. If you're finished with chatting, you can just press Ctrl C. It will stop the container. Uh, to run it again, you can do one of two things. You can either uh, again use Use uh, docker compose up command or uh, we can see a docker ps a there we have the container id and we can uh, yeah write docker start the container id we need to also start the olama container and there we see it's running in the background. But I like to start it with the docker compose up command. Then we will see the outputs produced because right now it's running in the background in a detached mode, you could say. Now, if for some reason you want to don't use docker and uh, install it manually, then you would need to head over to your Llama GitHub, install Llama manually, create a virtual environment. I would recommend using Python 3.10.12 because that's the version I used and with that everything worked fine. Install the requirements and install torch, run the command here, uh, run the ad, pull the necessary models and there you go. But I would again highly recommend use docker because you have seen just with one command everything is set up easily. Now one really important thing because some of you had errors with the previous version of the code and there are going to be people who will have errors with this version. That's just going to happen. What you need to do if you get an error please first on github go to issues and you will see there are already other issues some people have experienced. You can here in the search bar I like to remove these filters for example one issue which many of you had previously was this instructor load as per model got an unexpected argument token so just enter the issue here and you can see there are multiple issues other people already created on the error and 
If you go into it, yeah, you can see a discussion about it and there is simple answer. It worked. If you upgrade the library to 2.2.2 and that's it. This should be the first step you're going to take if you don't know how to solve this problem. If you don't find anything related, create a new issue yourself. Uh, you have to, yeah, you need a GitHub account for that. And then here, ideally, copy the error and describe the problem you're having. And let me know if you're on Linux, if you're on Windows. And then we're going to see if you can solve the problem. In most cases, the problems could be solved. Now, with that, we covered the Linux part. We're going to hop over to Windows now, set it up in a similar manner over there, and then see how long the computation takes over there and compare it to our Linux timings here. So now we're on Windows and the first thing we have to do is install Docker and it's quite easy. Just download the .exe and install it. Follow the instructions. Now, if you want to work with GPU, then you need to also install WSL on Windows and you can follow this guide from Microsoft. Now on Docker desktop, we go to the settings and here under general, or we have to activate the use the WSL2 based engine. With that, we can use the GPU. Okay, now with Docker running, we want to head over to the GitHub repository, copy the link, then open PowerShell, the git clone, and then I want to CD into it, uh, local with model AI chat and open it in VS Code. Following the installation recommendation for Windows, I would recommend installing Olama from the website. Just click on download for Windows, then run the setup. Now if it's installed, you will see it here in an icon running. And why do we need to do that? Because uh, I have an explanation here. If we are using Olama as a Docker image, the loading of the models will be very slow because of the communication of Windows and the WSL system. So therefore we want to use Olama locally and we can delete the docker compose file and rename this docker compose without Olama to docker compose. Then we want to follow the steps and we need to change the Olama base URL in the config.yaml file. If you go into it, I have already defined it for you. You just need to comment it out and then we can simply run docker compose up. This will take a little bit, of course. Okay, the installation finished, took around seven minutes. Now we can hop over and open it up. Okay, now let's select the Llama 3 model and test it again. Test the execution time and there you see very similar to Linux. It uh, loaded in around nine seconds and very quickly answered our question. Now let's check the pdf i'm adding the pdf file and now let's see okay perfect it worked let's test it out there you see extremely fast execution here the loading time of eight seconds again if you would work with the llama docker image i tested it before the loading time was actually five minutes and again it's because of the communication between the WSL and the Windows system and here by running Olama locally we have blazingly fast execution. Adding the documents to the database took only around 4 seconds so this uh, 20 page 3.5 megabyte large PDF file very fast if you run it on GPU. CPU of course will be a little bit slower maybe this will take 30 seconds and of course if you have PDF file with more pages. This will also take more time. But with that, we covered the setup on Windows. I hope you liked this project. I hope you liked this video. This project was a lot of work. Make sure to leave a comment if you like it so far. Click the like button, click the subscribe button and see you in the next video.